Bienville, and Bobancha. St. Anthony's Garden was completely destroyed during Hurricane Katrina in 2005. This allowed a rare French Quarter excavation in 2008 and 2009. One more renovation was completed after the excavation in 2011, using the information gained from the excavation in the redesign. St. Anthony's Garden is one of only a few places that have been excavated in modern times in the French Quarter. The excavation filled in some of the gaps in the historical records, showing us where former structures were situated, such as Père Antoine's cabin, and providing indication that an informal marketplace operated in the area in the early colony. Shannon Lee Doughty was the archaeologist who completed the excavation, and she writes, quote, The artifactual evidence points to the explanation that the market evolved out of a tradition established in the early French period, in which Native American visitors, traders, and neonates, and or laborers, we're allowed to make a temporary home in the city on this bit of unclaimed land under the watchful eyes of the church and the adjacent guardhouse. Unquote. The archaeological evidence also showed a preference for Native American styles of dress, with many beads found instead of European buttons, further revealing how much the indigenous people and the colonists interacted in the early colonial days. Dottie writes, quote, the density of artifacts associated with known Native American practices in manufacture, labor, and style throughout the French colonial period minimally suggests the strong influence of Native American culture on early New Orleans, but most likely indicates the significant presence of Native Americans themselves. The discrepancy between the archaeological and historical records helps clarify the French accounts probably took for granted the Native American milieu into which the foreigners had inserted themselves. The textual invisibility of Native Americans in the historical record thus should be revised to be read as a presumed presence rather than an absence, at least in the first generation of settlement in the 1710s and 1720s." Unquote. In addition to what we learned from the excavation of St. Anthony's Garden, we know that the Native Americans at least had a trading post called Bobancha in the area that Bienville decided would be the capital of French Louisiana. Bobancha means place of many tongues in a Choctaw dialect. We also know that Bienville had a relatively peaceful relationship with Native Americans. He was known to have been tattooed by Native Americans and is said to have learned the Mobilian dialect. Mobilian was a common dialect that different tribes used to communicate as they had different languages. Mobilian would have been the language used in trade at Bobancha, the place of many tongues. It possibly led Bienville to believe he had learned many different Native American languages, as he could effectively communicate with those who spoke different languages. Dottie suggests that the cordial relationship between the colonists and Native Americans probably ended around 1729, when the Natchez revolted up the river and colonists became less trusting and more violent toward the Native Americans. <laughs>